All right guys, so we just got back from the gym now and I'm in a good mood. Let me tell you why. Uh, I haven't had a cheat meal in two weeks and by cheat meal I had sweet potato. So really I haven't had a cheat meal in a long time and I'm not having one tonight, but uh, I get to have a refeed meal tonight. So I'll show you guys what I'm gonna have. I went and bought some sweet potato because I just love sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna make some sweet potato chips, fries. I'm gonna make some sweet potato fries and I'll show you guys how I'm doing them. And then uh, we'll train chest tomorrow. So we'll get a pump of the gods, I'm thinking. Potassium, sweet potato, the carbs in that, and salt. So, my first was obviously sweet potato. That's the, that's the weapon of choice here. So I'm gonna have about 800 grams of sweet potato. Um, but I also did buy some low carb potatoes in case I felt like normal spuds. But I don't, so I'm not gonna be having these, but I thought I'd show you guys because low carb potatoes, they exist, they're a thing. They've got about 9% carbs as opposed to 20% carbs. So if you're really dieting and you're hungry as hell, double the amount of, of potato that you'd be having if you're having sweet potato, because it's got half the carbs of it. So um, save that for another night, but we're gonna have about 800 of sweet potato. Got fruit ninja up in this bitch. Bear, bring that sweet potato back here. Uh, so that's 820 grams of sweet potato. I just gotta get, get wrangle my dog to get this back off her. Hang on. Hey, she does this all the time with vegetables. What have you got? Bear. Give me my sweet potato back. I'm gonna need to take this bear. Give it to me. Drop, drop, drop. Oh yes. Catch you later, bear. Bear's trying to do a cheeky carb up, but it's not her carb up there yet. It's not a refeed. She'll have to have just the low-carb kibbles tonight. <laughs> right, let's, let's cook these. Right, so I've just washed these massive sweet potatoes. This is gonna be a lot of sweet potato, I can tell. It's why the massive bowl, but if you didn't realize, easy to shake. And on that, we're gonna go, hit this Himalayan salt, pepper. Garlic powder as well, and the favorite smoked paprika. And this should need to bake for about 20 minutes. That is a lot of sweet potato. Look at that. That's sick. Someone dieting, that's extremely exciting. If you're not dieting, you're like, dude, what's your obsession with sweet potato? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna chuck these in the oven, and when we return, it will be time to smash down this whole tray. We've got some broccoli. Don't forget about the greens. We've got a little bit of chicken. I've eaten some because I was hungry. And just a bit of rice to change it up for variety. Uh, we're using Uncle Ben's savory chicken rice. Stay back, Uncle! Okay. Because he was taken from us too soon. Sorry, love a good Spider-Man joke. Um, sweet potato should be nearly done now. It's been for about 20. It's gonna work. Oh, nailed it! Absolutely nailed it. So guys, if that's not heaven as a refeed meal, I do not know what is. That is beautiful. I'm gonna smash this down and then let's see how the chest pump is tomorrow. I think it'll be good. See you then. All right, so morning after the carb night and I'm feeling refreshed and refueled. It is time to train some chest and get these pre-workouts ready. I'll show you what we've got today. We've got some PSI. So this is a non-stimulant pre-workout. If you guys either can't have caffeine or you just want extra pump, that's basically what it does. Um, so it won't give you any like extra energy, but I just like it for its pump benefits. And we've also got some Oxy Shred Melon. Um, tends to mix pretty well together. And this is just for that clean energy. So we'll go two scoops of this, which is quite strong. Um, we won't get any tingles. That's why I like it, because it doesn't have any tingles to your normal pre-workouts. And that will be the stack for today. Let's do it. Guess who's back? Back once again with the Renegade Master. Hey? Oots, 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 oots. <laughs> uh, starting with incline dumbbells and just warming up with using lighter weights. So it's going to take me a while to get to the working set, but that's all right. By a while, he means a long, <laughs> long time. Sometimes the chest just doesn't get warm. <laughs> not doing half reps here just for shoots, guys. We're actually trying to keep the tension on the chest the whole time. So first working set, I'm using 32s here. Um, even though we're training sloth mode, it doesn't have to be lightweight. I'm going for about probably six to eight reps, but the way we're doing them, there's still a lot of time and attention, so um, it's actually, it's pretty painful, but we'll see how we go. 
Yeah, we do. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun. Harvey Norman. It's actually a special on a Harvey Norman. Yeah? Today, yeah. Two, Today? two for one. Two for one. <laughs> yeah. That's actually so good. Try it. <laughs> So moving into a machine press, um, we've basically just gone for a squeeze here guys, we don't need to go too heavy. Um, you can be closer bro, yeah, we'll, sure. get, we'll get milkshakes in the background. <laughs> yeah, but, and obviously that's a good thing. That's what we want. Uh, and when you're done with your set, just do like hold a uh, contraction for like 15 seconds as hard as you can, and it's going to put more blood in the chest that way. Steve Cook. Steve Cook. I'm gonna put my Beltoidicus on for this. Sorry? I'm just gonna put my Beltoidicus on. Okay. Bracing the core. Let's go. Definitely the hardest chest exercise. We're doing chest dips before you start guessing. Yeah. Uh, and you're gonna get a bit hunchback mode so you can squeeze through your chest. I think we're gonna get about five or six reps here. But the squeeze is good, so we'll keep them in. Just channel your inner quasi mode. Yeah. Just get that in the in yeah, <laughs> just think, you know, if I had no posture, how would that look? That's how I'm meant to feel. When I actually when I used to do chest dips, probably the same as you Mitch, did you always just go super wide? Yeah. Trying 100%. to think yeah, so a lot of people think the difference between chest and tricep dips is just how wide your grip is. But our grips are pretty similar on uh, tricep or chest. It just depends on whether your upper body is upright or it's like a bit more hunched over. Control man. That's his uh, failure. Oh my ladies gosh. gentlemen. He is a failure. How many was that? Five? <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Four or five? Uh, but it's like the pump you get from that is crazy when you do it right. So we will do more of these. Do you want to turn? Yep. Let's Jump go. in. Good man. Harvey Normans, two for one, come on. Two for one, tried the three for one, didn't work out. Didn't work out. Stick with the two for one. Oi, <laughs> right, what do you guys reckon? How much does Mitch look like Malfoy? It's what a bit what of are your thoughts? To it. If you reckon, leave him in the comments. I reckon he, I reckon he is. Oh, jeez. Assist. Finishing with a cable fly. So we're not doing any standing, obviously doing them seated. I won't need this bad boy. No, you do. I do. Brace yourself. Brace it. True. I don't want to go snapping my back on a seated <laughs> fly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We're going for about 10 to 12 reps. Nice and controlled, good squeeze. Nothing new here. Oh.
I like it, had a look. Looks good. Look good? Yeah. Feel good? How to feel, how to feel, how to feel. 25 cent 25 mil? Yeah. Feeling yourself? Yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> workout complete. Time to hit the old dusty trail. But um, but that is it. I hope you guys like that workout and it's time for me to get home, eat some food, and do some cardio. See you soon. Say bye Mitch. Touch ya. So it has been about four hours since the chest workout. I'm um, still feeling really good, have a lot of energy, so I'm gonna get my cardio done right now. I came here the other day down at the beach and I just had to I had to come back with my drone. So I've got all my stuff packed because I want to show you guys this. It is super nice. But anyway, I did hope you liked that workout. Let me know how you go if you tear your chest off the bone or not. Um, and otherwise, I guess you guys know what to do. Uh, stay massive and check this drone footage in three, two, one.